and welcome back to the Baggies podcast YouTube channel where of course we're giving you all the latest news, views and opinions on all things Albion. Back again with another match day vlog for you, a bit of a different one. You may notice that I'm not actually wearing a West Brom shirt which is probably a bit of an odd one coming to a West Brom game. That's because I'll be actually not in the main stand but I will be in the press box for this particular game. However, I look forward to still taking you along as normal, picking up clips of the atmosphere from the game and hopefully getting involved with the game from a bit of a different perspective. So if you want to see more content like this on the, on the YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe. We're heading for a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. And uh, really looking forward to this one. It's West Bromwich Albion versus Middlesbrough, kicking off at three o'clock at the Hawthorne. But I'll be in the press pops for this one. So hopefully a little bit, a little bit different perspective for you on the opposite side of the ground. But yeah, make sure you subscribe and let's get straight into this match day vlog. Let's go.
Arthur is proud to support the Royal British Legion's annual copy appeal and honour the memory of the fallen who fought to defend our future. The club wants to say a big thank you to the officer commanding, staff and cadets. Half time here at the Hawthorns, uh, a mixed affair from, from Albion so far, some really good attacking moves put together to be halted by fouls from Middlesbrough on the counter attack, um, Jason Mullumby had one to know, and then Callum Robinson both stopped by yellow card challenges, they looked to be getting going but no, that's just the way things are at the moment, 1-0 down Albion are, I mean a poor goal to concede to be quite honest, Carl Bartley completely bypassed and then Cedric Kipre and Connor Townsend go sliding into each other to allow Josh Goburn his third goal of the season just smashed it home past current captain Sam Johnston. So, yeah, not a great half so far from Albion in terms of scoreline. There have been some positive forward moves, as I mentioned, but halted by Middlesbrough. Um, Middlesbrough yellow cards, a couple of good moves as well. One coming from, from Furlong, a good cross from the right-hand side, only to be blocked. And then a couple of chances in from corners, but not so far really for Albion. Nothing doing, they just can't find that final ball don't have that bit of movement at the end of an attacking move to put the ball in the back of the net so not been great so far from Albion but definitely uh, scope for second half improvement with the amount of possession and amount of um, good attacking chances they've had so far so we'll see on to the second half but currently West Bromwich Albion nil, Middlesbrough 1. guys final score West Bromwich Albion one Middlesbrough one a disappointing draw to say the least from Valerian Ishmael's side uh, just headed out from the ground now and yeah it was great to be in the press box really enjoyed that um, yeah and really liked the experience and I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog I tried to get as many clips as I could goals were a little hard to get the reaction from that because I was typing away doing a match report at the same time and tweeting so yeah if you don't follow me on Twitter make sure you do because hopefully this won't be the last time I'll be in the press box at West Bromwich Albion so it was really nice to to get in there and uh, had the chance to uh, shook Valerian Ishmael's hand managed to get in there and interview Darnell Furlong as well following the game so yeah big thank you to, to my university which I'm at, at the moment for, for letting me go in there but in terms of the game it was, it was a bit disappointing and yeah frustrating performance obviously Neil Warnock has left the club reportedly by mutual consent so that was a bit disappointing to see but I'm hoping to see a, a big improvement after the international break you feel like things have become a little bit turgid and a little bit slow from Albion over recent weeks and things have got to improve to be honest and I'm hoping that things can get back to back to our best after the international break against Huddersfield but yeah it was a frustrating performance today obviously great to see Dean Garner break his year-long goal scoring duck but pretty unfortunate to, to not um, to, to not take all three points considering some of the chances we had I think we had three or four chances in the game but yeah I'm disappointed really by the the performance from Albion and I'm really hoping that we can pick things up after the international break but yeah we're just frustrated by Middlesbrough more than anything I think they just got in our faces they wasted time several times really with throw-ins and it's just typical Neil Warnock that's what we expected but how can we get around that and that's by playing with high intensity and preventing them from and preventing them from playing and preventing preventing them from getting themselves set up in their positions because every time they waste time they can get reset and they can get back into their structural formation and they can continue to make things difficult for us so that's really what I thought from the game and I'm hoping for a big improvement after the international break um, you know it's a poor performance to be honest but you know things things will get better after the international break hopefully a little bit of a rest but we need to attack teams with higher intensity than we did it with Middlesbrough today we had over 70% of the ball and a lot of it was there are, lot, there are lots of options on the ball but there's never ever a good option really going forward there's always a good one going sideways or backwards but there's never really one go, a good one going forward so I'm hoping for improvements especially in the movements of the front line obviously Grady Great to see him get his goal. His performance wasn't fantastic, but it was nice to see him get a goal, which hopefully gives him a little bit of confidence going into um, the game against Huddersfield. Obviously, that, that momentum may be stopped by the international break slightly, but at least there'll still be confidence there from him. So, pleased to see that. But it's overall a poor performance. Frustrated by Middlesbrough. Um, if you want to read my match report from the game or any other content that I've been writing myself, obviously, I do the Backies podcast as well, but obviously, if there's any, any other... 
any other things that you'd like to to read from me or anything during the game that I was writing make sure you go and check us out but of course Twitter as well we're on there as well but yeah poor performance really from Albion frustrated by Middlesbrough but it's got Neil Warnock sacked and I'm sure that will um, that will really help <laughs> help our fans with with this draw today because it was a pretty jubilant jubilant uh, cries from West Brom as the final whistle went and lots of chance towards Neil Warnock throughout the game so obviously we'll see what that means for us but yeah, really poor performance from Albion, to be honest. Frustrated by Middlesbrough, but we did make some good chances and we did have a lot of the ball. That's a positive. We just need to attack with more high intensity. But that does bring me to the end of this match day vlog. A big thank you for joining me here on the Baggies Podcast YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe for more content like this. It's been a pleasure to be in the flash bo press box today. And a big thank you for joining me. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.